YouTube. It is 6.06 .06 while I'm recording this. I've been in the car for 30 minutes now. I left my house at 5.30, got my coffee, of course. And I also got something to eat because I was hungry. <laughs> I just got a croissant from, hold on, from Starbucks. But today I want to talk about, right now actually. So I listen to a podcast by Angel. Her name on YouTube is That Chick Angel and her with her husband and her husband Marcus. They have a podcast called Is This Going to Cause an Argument? They're probably my favorite family other than the Shaytars. They're probably my set they're probably second. Probably, maybe. But what they talked about was shows. So I kinda wanna discuss some shows that I like. I mean, you guys know my general, like anything on Freeform I generally watch. But I think my favorite show right now that's on is gonna be The Strain. I love The Strain. It's coming back. It started last night. I have not seen the episode, but that show just gets me going. Like I love horror. It's not even just horror. It's horror, it's drama. It's like there's some comedy relief, and I'm like, Ugh. it's everything I wanted to show. Everything. And I also like power, but I just recently got into that um, because of some friends. But Strain, I got on my own and I watched it from the beginning because I was so interested, and I'm like, I have to watch it. The Strain is definitely one of my favorite shows right now. Whoops, well, since it came back on. I mean, I like the reality TV shows like So You Think You Can Dance, America's Got Talent. But I also like RuPaul's Drag Race. That's a good show. Sometimes the season sucks. Last season it was good. I love that Bob the Drag Queen one. Which is funny because the next podcast I'm going to listen to is the show with Sam and Joe. I love Joe for Joseph Burzong. Oh, I love him. I, I hope to meet him one day. But for now, it's always a good show. I can't think of anything that's like scripted that I watch that's good other than anything on Freeform. Teen Wolf is going to be coming back soon, but it's not on right now. Yeah, I can't think of anything. It's been a while. Like, I watch TV every other day, so I only watch two, two, three, no, two. I don't know. I watched a number of shows, and I watched The Foss. No, I watched Guilt, which is good. The season finale was good. And then I watched So You Think Can Dance. Kind of upset of what, who went home last week, but I kind of figured it was. It's It was Ruby, but whatever. But the guilt was really good. You thought it was going to end. You're like, oh my god, there's still 30 minutes left. Ah! So, guilt was good. And I, I said the Fosters because I remember watching it. Oh, the Fosters. I am so glad it's not over yet. The season's not over. And that twist. Oh, I was like, wait, what? Huh? It was great. Um, so I got into an accident. Let's talk about that. So I was driving to work on Saturday when I wasn't supposed to work. I worked Saturday from 10, technically 10.50 because I was late. 10.50 to 1.00. And then I worked yesterday, 12 to 4.30. So I was driving to work and I was at the stoplight like a couple miles away from my house. Like where my house is, it's like just houses until you get to the highway, near the highway. And then there's like stores and everything. So I was at the high, I was at the light after the high, like after the highway bridge or whatever, the bridge that goes over the highway. And I left, I got, a, took my foot off the brake for a split second and I hit the car in front of me. Like, barely touched the car in front of me. Like, there's nothing wrong with her car. Like, my mom's license plate looks like shit right now. And then her, like, the side of her bumper came out a little bit. But, like, her car was just fine. It was an older lady. I'm not crushing on the older crowd. But come on, like, really? As it was just too much and I was 50 minutes late to work and it was not what I needed because Saturday I did not feel well and I had a headache I think it was from caffeine and have caff it was a caffeine headache and I just I was I was just not in the mood that day I was like this is some bullshit like I was bawling my eyes up because I was just not in the mood that day so 
But this weekend, I am working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be a very, very busy day. Because I have school and then I have work. So, but I wasn't going to go to work on Tuesday, but my assistant manager convinced me to go in. She's like, you're going to make me do the sales change all by myself? I was like, I might be late. She's like, that's fine. Come in late. I just need help. I was like, okay. So I'm getting 18 hours before my next paycheck. And then I'm getting, getting 18 hours before my next paycheck. And then I think I'm getting 10 hours. I think that's it. Um, oh, I didn't want to talk about what do you guys, I was going to ask the question for right now. What is your guys' favorite show? But I want to ask what you got, what's your, what's your, what show is the worst show that you've ever seen? That's what I want to ask. I want to ask that. What's the worst show you've ever seen? So that's the question for right now. There might be more. So, but, um, I am getting a tripod this week. I'm getting something to hold my phone on the dashboard because But first, I want to discuss how I caught an Onyx in traffic. Yes! Guys, you don't understand. Like, Onyx was like my favorite Pokemon, other than like Pikachu, because it was so cool. Like, he was like, oh, he was awesome. He was Brock's Pokemon, and you knew that Brock was the only one that had it. And it was the best shit ever. And I loved it. And I just want to say, I finally caught one in traffic. It took me a while. I was so mad because I was like, no, catch it, oh! And I was scared that it was going to run away before I caught it. But I caught it. It's only like 200 and something, but I caught it. Thank God. But, um, so two things that I want to talk about that they talked about was they do would you rather things at the, towards the end, like with viewer questions. So the first would you rather was, would you rather not age and not be able to get any disease? or be able to go back in time, but only for an hour? Or would you like to know what everyone's thinking about you? Only you. And to be honest, I think, I wanna know what you guys think of me. I wanna know what you guys really think of me. And I would say I would rather be able to go back an hour, only an hour, because it just seems more, I don't know how to explain it, like, a lot happens in an hour, like, people don't realize, like, if I, like, get in the car, and I'm like, oh my god, traffic's taking forever, and then I could go back an hour or whatever, so, I don't know, it just seemed like, and I would get a lot more things done, in all honesty, let's be real, I would get a lot more things done if I could go back an hour, so, other than that, yeah, that's it, um, what would you guys rather do? Hi guys, so um, this morning was definitely ha has been better than yesterday morning, but I will tell you now, this is the sleekest my hair has ever looked, let's get that out of the way. And this morning, traffic was like plus like almost 200 minutes, I was like, alternate route. And now, instead of me being at the school at 2 o'clock, because that's what I was going to get there if I took my normal route. I'm gonna get there at 11, so yeah, which is great. Um, I went some weird, weird, some weird way today. It was really cool because it was like all mountains. It was, cool. it was awesome. Um, me and Michael fought last night. That was fun, uh, like always. I don't. Know. Oh shit! Protect the camera. Protecting the camera because I'm stopping a little bit of traffic. Um, at my Starbucks, I got some fruit loops today for breakfast. I'm just munching on that slowly. Um, nothing else really happening. I'm just stopping because that's what traffic does. And that's it. I uh, haven't done anything else today. I watched Pretty Little Liars this morning. The podcast I just listened to was Source Fed. It was a Source Fed podcast. And they talked about fandoms and the thing that happened with their girl and the child. And then they talked about the 
that was it. I don't, do you guys have like a fandom that you, are you guys part of a fandom? Cause I'm not, I don't think I'm part of a fandom. Yes, I get passionate about certain things, but I don't go out of my, my way to like tweet about it. I think the only thing I like get on my way to tweet about is Ariana Grande. That's a fandom that I'm obsessed with. And Justin Bieber, like when I think like his last, his last, last album, Journals, I think I was a little fandom with that. And even with his new album, whenever it was like, oh my God, I'm a believer now because this album is amazing. Like, I don't know. So I'm kind of a fandom with artists, but I don't think really with TV shows or movies. Yes, I get passionate about it, but I don't think I would ever go out of my way to write a bad review if it didn't go, if the movie or TV show didn't go the way I was. Obviously, the people that created the show and who's writing the show did it a certain, they like planned out the show to do that. So I understand that. Like I understand when th when a certain thing happens, I may not like it, but that's how they planned it for it to happen. Like with Pretty Little Liars Day, a whole lot happened. It happened for a reason. I'm not gonna spoil it. Technically I could, cause it's Tuesday. It's a week after it aired. But like, it's just, it's weird. I'm not that type of person to write a director or something and be like, oh my God, you did this wrong. You should have done this. No, that's not the type of person I am. Because I understand where the director or the writer or the, the writer really, or the network were going with the TV show and that's what they planned when they started the new season or when they started the whole TV show all together. So I just, I just understand that concept. Yes, for a second I'll be mad, but then after a while I'm like, okay, I can see why they did that. And I wanna discuss something about that incident because they were, SourceFed said something very interesting that really got me. It was that we were blaming the parents for what happened, but the child is a child. Child's children, I've babysitted tons of times, children disappear. You could be, you could leave, you can close your eyes for five seconds and that child would be gone in an instance. Like, you can't help if a child disappears. And I don't think it was okay that they shot the gorilla. And the thing that I was, that made me think about this was that Mike Falzone said, what if the gorilla knew exactly what was happening? Like. Because a lot of people say that we evolved from gorillas or that we evolved from monkeys or whatever. And that what if the only difference between us and them was that they just didn't know how to talk. But they had the same intelligence as us. And they just didn't know how to talk. Or they didn't have, they, they didn't have the vocabulary part that we have, I guess. And what if he understood that the boy wasn't supposed to be in there and the reason why he was dragging, dragging him around was because he was punishing him because he knew it wasn't supposed to be in there. What if he understood what was happening? What if the um, zookeepers could have just been like, okay, give me the child, and he would have gave him the child? Like, what if that would have happened? And then the gorilla wouldn't be dead, the child would still be safe, even though the child's safe anyways. Like, I just don't, like, I don't know why they didn't, I don't know actually the whole story, so let me not say that they didn't try that. I don't know, I just think the situation is ridiculous. One, children, disappear they wander off definitely when you're at a zoo and they're like oh I want to go here no like my little my god sister used to do that oh let's see like no like they will if you do not have your hand on them or they are not in a like stroller that shit will happen and then I don't understand why they just didn't think that the gorilla understood what was happening. Like, why did they just assume it was an animal being hostile? Like, what if the animal was just trying to protect the child from other gorillas or whatever? It's over now. It's been like months since that's happened. The podcast was from months ago. I just, that type of stuff doesn't, I just don't understand it because it just, it's just stupid. I'm sorry. It's the way that we think, we don't think things through like this is how our society is set up we just act we don't think we just act on instinct which is not what we're supposed to do we're supposed to think things out and then act 
But no, that's not what we do because it's just not what we do, which is ridiculous. I think we all need to act. We all need to think before we act. Think about what the gorilla's doing. Think about if he's really harming the child or if he's protecting the child before going to extremes of tranquilizing or shooting. Think before you type something on the internet, like, like, I just, come on guys, let's be smart. Um, I know sometimes I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend I'm a saint or whatever. I've done actions before thinking and it's gotten me in trouble. Like even with my boyfriend, even in my relationship. I do, I say things before thinking them out. I do. And that's a problem of mine and that's also a problem of his. You know this is true. Everyone does something that they regret after they've thought about what they did. Like it just, just doesn't make, who's messaging me? Oh. I have one dollar, that means it came out, okay. And I also thought about this today. I was like, the way I could save money is if I left my debit card. But the reason why I couldn't do that before is because I didn't have an iPhone yet. But now they were talking about like how you could use Apple Pay at certain places. What if I didn't take my credit card, I added it to my wallet, and anywhere that accepted Apple Pay, I could use my cell phone, or and then I can use pay for something. But if they don't accept Apple Pay, then I can't buy anything. Like. I mean, it kind of works out. I mean, I would save money. Well, I might start doing that because, well, I'm broke. <laughs> I have one dollar in my account. I mean, I have money for gas. I have rice today for food. I got Fruit Loops. I got chips. But like, I just trying to think of ways to save money because I didn't. Um, I'm not eligible for financial aid, so I'm gonna talk to my financial officer today to see what the scholarship stuff is. I'm gonna try and figure out what scholarships they have <sighs> because I do not like guys. I've I've listened to tons of people on YouTube. I've listened to them. Student loans is not a good idea because you're gonna be paying that shit off forever. Like I do not want to be in debt paying. Like that's why I don't want a credit card. It's because I don't want to be in debt. Only reason why I would get a credit card is for gas. Like gas is something that I need every day, but like there's no reason for me to have a credit card unless it's for gas because then I could pay it off at the end of the month and pay for all the gas that I used it for and then I don't want a student loan because then I don't have to want to pay it off for the rest of my life when I could be doing other things with my life like there's no way in hell that once I'm done with film school I'm instantly gonna get a film job there's no way I'm probably still gonna be working at the job I'm working at I don't know that for sure, but that's probably what's going to happen. I know I'm getting into depth today. Oh. But you know, just morning thoughts. Um, did my makeup, did my hair, it's all sleeked back. It's nice today. I used my a black, I'm not trying to be racist, it is a black comb, like, or a black, black brush. One of those, like, those bristles that are like hard and it just sleeks back or whatever. Used one of those today to sleek my hair back. Um, that's it. I didn't do anything else special today other than watch Pretty Little Liars and I have all my stuff. But um, I'm gonna continue driving. The next podcast is Philip DeFranco. It is. Uh, I might talk to you guys after it's done. If not, then I'll talk to you guys after class. I have class until 7.30 tonight, so hopefully I won't have to stay after class because traffic won't be as bad, so. <sighs> See you guys later.